Hi, I'm Jason, and in this tutorial we are going to create a simple user form. User forms will allow your code to be more flexible, so it can be used in a wider range of applications, and it will make your macros easier to use. So, to provide a quick example, let's go back to our let's go back to the previous tutorial where we made a macro that created a cylinder of fixed length and diameter. So if I run this macro, it creates a cylinder of diameter 2 inches and of length 12 inches. Now this macro is fine, but what if we want to create a different size cylinder? What I would need to do is edit the code and change these two values each time. Now that would be a little bit time consuming. An easier way would be to use a user form that asks the user for the input length and diameter. So I've made a macro that does just that. So let me run it. If I run this one, it's going to ask for the diameter and the length of the cylinder. So if I create this cylinder, it makes a new cylinder of a custom diameter and length. Now, what we're going to do in this tutorial is take the old code that made a cylinder of fixed length and diameter and add a user form so it's more flexible. So to do this, we're going to need to do the following things. We're going to need to open a new document and our macro is going to need to open a new document and create a new sketch on the front plane. Then it's going to need to display a user form that asks the user for the diameter length. Then take those parameters and pass them into a create a cylinder subroutine which creates a cylinder and then we need to just end we need to close the user form by ending the macro so that's what we're just going to do so to do this let's start with the code from the previous tutorial okay so here's the code from the last tutorial it's broken up into largely two sections uh, the first section opens a new part and opens a sketch on the front plane and the rest of it is used to create a cylinder and in this case it creates a cylinder of fixed length and fixed diameter what we need is to add a user form and change this bottom part of the code to a subroutine that can create a cylinder of a chosen length and diameter so the first thing we're going to do is create the subroutine. So what I'm going to do is just put a public sub at the top of the code that starts creating the cylinder, and then I'm going to call it create cylinder. So now we have a subroutine that creates a cylinder, and the in sub that was used for the main ends this subroutine. So I need to add another in sub to end this submain. Okay, now this code opens a new document and opens a sketch. We want to keep that the same. So keep same opens a new document and inserts sketch. For this create a for this create cylinder subroutine, what we need to do is add two parameters for the cylinder's length and diameter. So what we need to do is get rid of these fixed lengths. We don't want to use a fixed length. We want to have a dynamic or a user input for the length and uh, diameter. So let's add two parameters to this create cylinder subroutine. We'll have input length as double and input diameter as double. And what we're going to do is just simply put the cylinder length equal to the input length and the cylinder diameter equal to the input diameter. So equals input diameter input length and equals input 
right there. And we'll change this comment to set cylinder dimensions equal to into input parameters. Okay. So this code should then should create a cylinder of a given length and diameter. Now what we need to do is create our user form. So to create a user form, go to your project window, right click on modules and say insert user form. And it's going to bring up a user form that we can work with and it's going to give us a toolbox where we can drop in our needed, uh, needed buttons and labels. So for for this macro, what we need to do is create two text boxes that allow the user to type in the length and diameter. So let's create one text box and then just copy and paste the identical text box. Let's add labels to the top of these. And under label, go to caption and then type in what you want the caption to be. So in this case it's going to be diameter inches. And let's copy and paste this label box and then add one for length. So change the caption to length. Okay. Now what we need is a button for the user to press to create a cylinder after they input the diameter and length. So let's add a command button, drag and click, and let's change the caption for this button to create cylinder. Okay, so let's make sure everything's working fine. So if I run my code, it should open up a new part, create a sketch on the front plane, and display the user form, even though the user form doesn't do anything at this point. So let's run it. So I run it from submain, and it opens up a new sketch, but it didn't display my user form anywhere. And the reason why is because our user forms are going to be always hidden unless you specify them not to be. So what we need to do is add a line that unhides or we should say shows our user form. So add line to show user form. So to do that, what we need to do is type in the name of our user form which in this case if you look under the project window the name of our user form is user form 1 so I type in user form 1 hit period to bring up all the methods and properties and there should be a method that is show this this method will then display the user form once the once the macro gets to this line so let's rerun this macro again I play it, our user form pops up. Now our user form doesn't do anything because we haven't added any code to it, so let's do that. So to add code to our user form, you just double click on what um, item you want to work with. In this case, what we want to do is call the create the cylinder uh, subroutine when the user clicks on the create cylinder button. So to edit the code for uh, create cylinder button, just double click on it. And it's going to generate a subroutine that will be run every time the user clicks on that button. So what we need to do is we need to, let's see, create variables for the length and diameter of the cylinder. Next thing we do is then 
take the data and the text boxes and set the variables equal to that data. So that would be the diameter and length. And then the last thing this subroutine needs to do is call the create the create cylinder subroutine and input the diameter and length parameters. And the last thing we want to do after this is all done is close the user form and end the macro. Okay, so let's do these four things. So the first thing we need to do is create variables for the length and diameter of the cylinder. So create, creating the variables. Okay, so we'll call those length. So dim length as double. So that'll be the length of the cylinder. And let's create another one for the diameter, which we'll is called diameter as double. Okay, so we created the variables. Now what we need to do is take the data that's in the text boxes and set the length and diameter equal to those. So to get the data from the text boxes, what we need to do is we need to say text box dot text this this method will this type of method will return the text that's in the text box. What we need to do is figure out what the names of the text box are to do that. So if you go back to the user form, the name of the text box that's under diameter is text box one, and the name of the text box that's under length is text box two. These are not really useful names. Let's change them so they're more descriptive. So I'll say I'll call this one diameter. Box and the other one, length text box. Now, if I double click on the button, go back to my code, I can act. I can access those, the text in this text box through the dot text method. So what I'm going to do is set length equal to the text in length text box. So length will equal length text box, the name of the text box dot text. That simple. Let's do the same for the diameter. Diam equals diameter text box dot text. Okay, so far so good. Now what we need to do is call the create the cylinder subroutine and input the length and diameter uh, values. So let's call the create cylinder method um, subroutine. Okay, so to do that, remember that we made our create cylinder subroutine public so it can be accessed from the outside. So call create cylinder and input the length and diameter. So that's length and diameter. Okay, if this all works well, this should create a cylinder of a get of a specified length and diameter. So let's run this from our submain. See what happens. So user form pops up. Let's make our diameter three inches and our length three inches. Click create cylinder, and it seems to uh, create just fine. Now the problem is our user form stays open. We can close it manually by clicking the close button, but 
what we'd like to do is, once a cylinder is created, close it. So what we're going to do is go back to our code that's in the Create Cylinder button, and then we're just going to end the whole macro. So end the macro. And once the macro is ended, the window will close. And to do this, just simply type in end. Okay, let's run this macro again. And we'll make it 1 and 5. There you go. Seems to run just fine. And it closes just fine. Now, you might say that this is not particularly good way to write a code. After all, what the text box is returning is a string, and we're letting a double equal a string. This only works if the user types in a numeric value. And what if the user would type in a negative value? That wouldn't make much sense. So if we want to make this a real safe code, what we do is add a couple if statements and make sure that, and, and maybe send some error messages back to the user if they input an incorrect value. But we're, what we're trying to do is just get the point across of how to make a user form and show that it can be useful for working with your code. So that ends this tutorial. Again, if you have any uh, SolidWorks API topics you want me to cover, just leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching.